hundreds of Central American migrants rushing the U.S. border with Tijuana after Mexican authorities tried to block a border crossing. NBC's Dan Sheneman has the latest. This was the scene today along the U.S.-Mexico border near San Diego. Hundreds of migrants raced toward the border wall while U.S. authorities closed the San Ysidro port of entry. This happened after the migrants tried to march to a border crossing where they hoped to apply for asylum. But the march was stopped by Mexican police. They are not on their, their right to turn us back because from, from after from where they are, this is still Mexico. So it doesn't make any sense for them. And if you try to talk to them and ask them a fair explanation why they detain us here, they don't talk but remain quiet. The mood in Tijuana has been tense. Some 5,000 Central American migrants arrived there in recent days, and conditions have been described as dire. Tijuana's mayor says the city is now facing a humanitarian crisis, and he's appealed to the U.N. for help. And the migrants' path to the U.S. may have hit another roadblock. The Washington Post reported there is a potential deal between the U.S. and Mexico that would keep the migrants in Mexico while the U.S. considers their asylum claims, a process that could take years. Mexico's government denies any such agreement. A White House spokesperson did not comment directly, but said they are looking forward to working with the incoming Mexican president on a wide range of issues. For now, migrants can do little but protest and wait. Dan Sheneman, NBC News.